Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Peace. <laughs> With those brats, you'd sooner tame a scorpion. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Name them. Understandable. I'll have Joe send you a few things once we get back to Broadmoor Heights. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. That's what I like to hear. I expect great things from you, Rangers. Do good work. All right, let's move out.
Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting. That kind of Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you... And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcy. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? My advice is to put together a squad with complimentary and you can always round out your squad with folks you meet. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now, you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping. Before I... After that, you might want to give Sheriff Days... Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. You... Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way.
Systems active. We'll have a My son's not the Dorsey! Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our lane. <laughs> People here kept us out in the cold. Letting us starve to death while they sat and figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it. And they said I was working with the doors. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without- Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folk- I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Nice talking to you. This kid's going in the pillories next. How'd you like that welcome party at the lake? <laughs> no mercy on your soul, Colorado! My son's done nothing! Will someone please help my boy? We ain't gonna beg for our lives. We ain't weak like you! <sighs> ah, Marshals! Finally! I was beginning to think you were never going to help... Hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like... ruffians. Are you here to see the Sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. I'm sorry. I was raised better than that. It's just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them. And when... That may be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. 
We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No. Thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until Daisy, you speak to me. Blood is coming for you all! We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but we'll need to pull some resources from another district to do it. Huh. Sheriff won't like that. Miss West... Miss Wesson, could you... I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you... the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy's waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. <laughs> Don't blink. Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Uh, somebody's sure having a hell of a party, huh? Too old <laughs> to fight the Dorseys, oh, they I'm said. Screaming and ah. fireworks? Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Understand that the law cannot wait until you have the means to pay. The boy will go to the pillory soon. His time is short.
Mercy. <laughs> I do not see the word in my law books. The patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. Indeed. Neelius Dorsey lives! He'll kill y'all! We ain't gonna beg for our lives. We ain't weak like you. Mom? Oh, I... Sorry. Never mind. What? Why? What do you want? No, please, I just need you to go away. Please. I... I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... We, uh... Got separated. Uh... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> there, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage to, to... I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye. How does it feel now? I am staying here until they all freeze to death. Dorsey scum! I hope you die slow! 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 How does it feel now? Business with McTavish? Come into the machine shop. If not, then fuck off. attack on Colorado Springs! New in town? Did you hear about what happened? Oh, oh Marshall Station, right over there. Can't miss the pillories out front. Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but no... Took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Be careful. Might still be Dorsey's hiding out in the city. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. 
Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Good day. Oh, darn it, Martha. Why else would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't use it? Do you know who the- Con it! You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all you- Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some... You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. We thought you was all dead! Back off! I will gut you like a fish!
right there and pissed us off! Need a medic. <laughs> Too wounded to fight. Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. Say, if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho Garage, just outside the city gate. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Come on back after we reopen the shop. I knew you had the look of soldiers about you.
door to nobody. Place is closed. Brygo wants us to stand in the cold and make sure you know it. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if you can persuade him to join the meeting. Careful though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times, and these are not the best of times. Jesus, loaves and fishes, Christ! That's a bomb under my stall, ain't it? Oh shit, Taiwan. God, it is. We best stay back. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. Tape to fix this. Terrible. Oh, you want to talk to Mama? She's the one in charge. You got business with Mama Carter? Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Yeah. <laughs> 